Okay, so as a way of getting more space for just stuff on this trip, I made this storage box. And I figured in this video I would show you a bit of a quick time lapse as how I built this. And maybe it can inspire you for something similar. So I'm also going to show you how to use one of these uh, outlets. This is actually a EV outlet. I'm going to use this one for this project. I'm going to take power from this one, which is actually here for free. Free power. So I'm going to use that for the welding. And I'm going to use one of these. This is a EV charging plug. It's a type two connector, mode three. And it has a Shuko in the back of it. So this is and two buttons in the bottom. So I just plug it in here. I press button number one. Wait a few seconds, press number two. And now we should have power here. So we're gonna check that out. We got an uh, extension cord is needed. Also keep in mind that uh, as I built this, I just used uh, every bit of scrap metal that I have in my garage. So none of these pieces are at all. So I just have leftovers and I use what I have. So far, it's been working fine. So the hitch mount that I use is a heck pack and um, this one is really sturdy. It's not the cheapest one. There is apparently one on eBay. No, not eBay, Amazon. That is like half the price. And it's supposed to be, well, pretty good that one too. So it's just a handle here. You close it and when it's closed, you have this little pin. And you can also put a small padlock through here. And in here, it just goes in and clamps around the hitch. So. It's, like, it's really sturdy. This one is really good. So I like this one. And uh, this is what it turned out like. I was actually going to put a small like a padlock on here just to be able to lock it. But I figured that if someone wants to break into this, they will just break it. They will just rip it apart. And I would rather have someone open it with a rubber band and they take something without breaking it rather than just breaking it and taking it. So yeah, we didn't put a lock on it. But we don't... We don't keep anything valuable in the box anyway, so we just keep like a bunch of stuff that we don't really need all the time, and that's not so valuable. And here I put a chain on it, so this one is just to keep the lid from uh, falling open and hitting the car. And around the edges here, I put this, um, it's, so it's overlapping. It overlaps and keeps a nice um, seal on the lid, and uh, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or comments, put them down below. And maybe I'll talk to you in the next one.